has a way with her. Things that might at first glance seem twisted or gnarled have their own beauty and their own uses. But man, who professes to love beauty, loves convenience more. The time had come when man wanted a more convenient way of getting to the high country. that meant spoiling some of its beauty, then so be it. But it was a while before the mountain creatures realized what was happening. be rain. It doesn't smell like rain, but it sounds kind of like thunder. Very strange. Mm -hmm. Ow! That'd be right. That'd be right. Deliberately standing there silent, just where you know I want to go. We were talking, Wombat. What's that? Walking? You weren't walking. You were standing still. Now, where's my son? Your son? I'm sure I don't know. Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. Any trouble, any problem in the high country, straight to Wombat. Get him to help. Upset his day. Disturb his routine. But as soon as Wombat needs help, no one can be bothered. Just a minute, Wombat. That's not true. Anyway, how are we supposed to know you've got problems? Yeah, well, you're supposed to know. How were you supposed to... I just said me son's moving! You deaf! I've got to find him. I'm, 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 I'm very worried. Of course we'll help. Now, where did you last see him? Oh, typical. Typical. Always questions. No action. I might as well just keep looking by myself for all the, all the help I get. You can't win with Wombat. He's all right. Yeah, old Wombat's all right. Nothing wrong with Wa 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 Well, he does like having something to complain about. <laughs> yes, and Wombat's got a tough hide, so he'll be okay. Let's see if we can find baby Wombat. <laughs> oh, typical, typical. Mopoke. Mopoke. Oh, hi, Mopoke. Good morning, Mopoke. 
Still up? It is time for the world to rise and shine. Anything else would be a waste of time. You haven't seen Baby Wombat anywhere, have you? His father's out searching for him. If it's a clue you're after, I may be some help. Just keep your ears open for the sound of a yelp. Sound of a yelp? That's not much of a clue, Mopoke. <laughs> huh? While not all creatures are as smart as a grey kangaroo, Mopokes are known to be pretty smart too. <laughs> <laughs> He's Thara, I'm Benny. Time for you to go home, Baby Wombat. Your father's looking for you. He's very worried. Well, whatever you say, Thara. I, I, I was just having a game with my friends here That's and... That's all right. Games with friends are important, but not worrying your father is more important right now. Off you go. <laughs> yes, yes, off I go. Oh, whoops! <laughs> typical, typical. Yes? Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, typical of me to uh, run into something. That something was me. Your home is back that way. <laughs> yes, that's where I want to go. Thank you, Thara. <laughs> oh, bye, dingoes. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Bye, Wombat. Come and play again soon. Hello, Benny, Thara. What are you... Looking after wayward children, I think. Very wise. Ever since the men started building that track... What track? It is said to be near the Prospector's Creek. Six horses wide, <laughs> so to speak. I don't believe it. Why would they do that? It's true enough. Haven't you heard the noise? A big metal monster they have, grunting and rumbling and growling. So that's what the noise was. It's a great danger to all the high country creatures, especially the little ones. That's why I'm trying to keep a close eye on my two. <laughs> oh, so would that be right? Always something in the way. Well, that'd be right. Oh, kookaburras, kookaburras, tend to laugh till they drop. But if you ask me, they have the brains of a mop. Mopoke, Mopoke, you're so fond of yourself, but to me you're just a stuffed bookend on a shelf. <laughs> I'm a poet and at least I know it. <laughs> No, I don't like the sound of this, Thara. No good's ever come of man and his monsters in the high country. Well, that's why we're on our way to see it for ourselves, isn't it? Seeing is one thing. Doing something about it is quite another. Listen. The thunder's stopped. Not another one. <clears throat> rubbish, rubbish and more rubbish. That's all I ever find in this creek. I'm sick to death of picking up after that stupid road gang. Not a brain among them. He seems very angry. Who can blame him? The last thing we need is the stream choked with a load of man's leftover junk. <coughs> You're a long way from home, Whitbird. <coughs> no, I'm not. I haven't got a home anymore. Whip. Got to find a new one. It's the monster. Whip. I think we'd better find this monster double quick. <laughs> This is just awful, Benny. How could they do this? It's going to get worse, Thara. Our mountain kingdom is shrinking. This big path will bring more and more men. Mopoke, Mopoke, shed a tear. If they must have a road, why put it here? Why come anywhere near the high country? What do they want? At least the mountains and the ram's head and the sentinel are safe. It's easy here on the river flats, but the rugged mountains will beat their monsters. We'll always have somewhere to live. Don't be too sure, don't be too certain. This road could be our final curtain. 
Just look at this lot. Mankind's legacy to the high country. <laughs> Oh no! There it goes! More noise and smoke! It's enough to make any bird choke! <laughs> What's this? Oh, horror of horrors! <laughs> abandoned in that tree. Their fate has been left all up to me. Ah, that's a relief. Scrambled eggs were not to be, but it's a shame about that lovely old tree. Mobo, Mobo, thank you for saving my eggs. I no longer think you're just the dregs. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad to help you. And I'm inclined to think you're not so bad, too. <laughs> oh, sire! Sire! Ah. What's the panic, Karawang? Oh, mighty Pralga. It breathes fire and smoke and rumbles and roars. What are you talking about, Karawong? Calm down. It's yellow, makes grinding noises, devours trees and belches toxic fumes. All right, Karawong. What's the prize? Prize, oh worshipful wonder horse? For guessing the answer to the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand, mighty Brolga. The men creatures have invaded with the monster that is consuming the high country at a rate of one large lake per second. What? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sire. The smoke and the noise, all from this hideous beast. Get going, Karawong. Lead the way. Yes, sir. We'll show them, oh mighty master. They can't invade the king of the Brumbies country and get away with it. <laughs> Thunder! Rain! Routine upset! Disaster! <laughs> Disaster! Disaster! <laughs> there it is, sire. What did I tell you? So. They think they can turn the high country into a barren waste, do they? Swamped? What happened? Oh, never mind, never mind. Nobody cares what happens to poor old Wombat. But at least we got out. All together again, safe and sound. 
Uh, Wombat, not quite together. Hey, what do you mean? Your son, he's not here. Hey, but he's always there. At the, at the end of the line. What? Where is he? Where? Where? Boop boop. Boop boop. Hey, that missing son of yours is quite a scamp. When last seen, he was hanging round the monster's camp. Is he old enough to think about hiding from it? Old enough? He's old enough to eat. That's all he thinks about. It's to be hoped that he's come to no harm. We'll come back with you. Something's different. It's the quiet. I can't hear the stream. It's usually very noisy around here. I told you I got a wet head. Something's happened to the stream. Hmm. Very strange. Animals can't even get a drink as well. Returning what rightfully belongs to you. Huh? Hey! Get rid of them properly next time, or take them with you. Hey! Cut it out, old man. You made your point. I'll cut it out when you give me back my water supply. Damned idiots. I bet you're responsible for our water supply drying up. I can't think what you've done to the homes of the animals and birds. I think the old prospector must be giving them a piece of his mind. <laughs> Good job, too. I just wish I could start up that monster of theirs and push them right back out of the high country. Even that, unfortunately, wouldn't repair the damage that's already been done. That's right. Some of those trees they've knocked over have been there for hundreds of years. <laughs> that's the way, mighty monster masher. You cool off after teaching those intruders a much-needed lesson. I'm sure I saw a slight dent in the front of that thing. Oh, such bravery. What a charge. I haven't seen anything like that since Thaura jumped the ravine with a man in tow. Uh, what? Oh, no, no, no offence intended, sire. Of course. I didn't notice that puny weakling charging the monster. Only the great Brolga would have decided to charge head-on into an unstoppable metallic clanking contraption that no one could hope to halt. <laughs> Just as I thought. Did it occur to you that you might need water too? And what about the animals? Blockheads. Some engineer you are. OK, OK. We'll get the dozer down there and clear it. Take her away, Frank! Now, the next thing is, where's that son of yours, Wombat? <laughs> oh, my son! Oh, something's happening. I can sense danger. <laughs> Can't hear 
you above the din. Benny, do something quick. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hurry, somebody do something. Hey, look at this. Bad brew. Huh? What's going on, old fella? What's up? Oh, no. A baby wombat. Stop! Stop! No! I can't stand to watch! Back to your family. <laughs> oh, thank heavens you're safe. Hey, cut it out. What's all the fuss about anyway? Phew. That was a near thing. Yeah, saved in the nick of time. But how many weren't saved and how many animals have lost their homes? Yeah, I guess we hadn't given it much thought. Build your road if you must, but remember... The bush is there, home, and you are the visitors. What a wet home is going to do for me rheumatism. It is a shame, Wombat. But at least baby Wombat is safe. And that is the main thing. Yes, you're right. And, um, I'd uh, like to thank you and Benny for your help. It was a pleasure, Wombat. Any time. There are many ways man can be a danger to the creatures of the high country. It wouldn't be long before they brought the fear and destruction of a bushfire. country is often threatened by human intruders and trappers cause more trouble than most as Mopoke and Karawong found out. But luckily for the two unlikely cellmates, strange things happen everywhere and the high country is no exception. <laughs> 
Uh... Mopoke and Karawong were rescued from the trapper's cage by the same man who had been Thaura's greatest enemy and who had been determined to capture him. Mopo, who was blessed with manners and gratitude, unlike Karawal, took to keeping an eye on the man as a way of thanking him for his kindness. Mopo, Mopo. <laughs> I'm glad you come and see us. I really like your stories. And I like your cocoa, <laughs> but mostly your company. Tell us another story. Well, I don't know if it's really a story, but a strange thing happened today. I think that ghost horse is haunting me. Mm -hmm. I was chasing after a chestnut. I would have got him too. He was slow and a bit thick and nowhere near the cunning the silver brumber used to have. And I was just about on him when another horse with a silver mane appears from nowhere, gallops alongside the chestnut, and they led me into the bush. Did you catch him? The chestnut? Oh, no. The darndest thing happened. I came across these birds, a mopoke and a currawong, caught in a trapper's cage. It's like the ghost horse had led me to them. What did you do? Well, I let them go, of course. Oh, they make me real mad, these trappers. Oh, I know I catch brumbies, but after a fair chase and a matching of wits, nature against nature. And I lose more than I win. But these trappers... Oh, don't talk to me about them. Greedy city fucker don't give a damn about the high country or its creatures. Yeah. Oh, more cocoa. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> he threatened us with a shotgun last time. He won't give us the time of day. He won't recognise us. Anyway, we're lost. Oh, good day, mate. Good day. Bit lost. We're bird watchers. Can't seem to find the track down to the Cascades. I hear there's some pretty good wildlife down there. So I've heard. Bit tricky to find that path. Just keep going along the creek, you'll see an old track, turn left, and that should point you in the right direction. Much obliged. That isn't the way, Grandad. Gee, isn't it? And here I've gone and given those nice bird watchers the wrong directions. Bird watchers. What do they take me for? I know those two rotten trappers anywhere. Dingoes last year, birds this world. I just saved them a lot of trouble, Charlie, and sent them on their way home. <laughs> do this, Karawong, do that, Karawong, lick my hooves, Karawong, ah, forget it. If you think your traitorous tempestuousness that you can leave me stuck in a cage and laugh at me after all I've done for... What? What kind of a creature is this? I'd slow down if I were you, mate. Just what I need. A backseat driver. I can see where I'm going without your help, mate. Thanks. <gasps> Blimey, that was a close call. I can see where I'm going without your help. Huh. I'd better do the driving, mate. Ah, oh, pipe down. Anyone can make an honest mistake. I'll just back up and we'll be as right as rain. Oh, 
Hmm, fascinating. Animal, mineral, or vegetable? Hmm, what's in here, I wonder? Well, definitely not friendly, whatever it is. Must be stopped. You, you must have misheard him. I didn't mishear him. We should have just asked for the route to the Cascades, not the direction. Well, just cut across country and we'll see if we can find a track. What do you think I'm doing? Heading for my master's territory, where the herd is grazing. Definitely, uh-uh. Master! Master! Never seen anything like it, Mew. Oh, never. It is the colour of the sky, though. The colour of the sky is definitely what it is. And it's racing towards us. Racing towards us and about to hit us! What do you think we should do? Get, Get out of the way! way. Oh! <laughs> And then this blue monster spat black smoke all over me. And then came screaming at me like a banshee. Stop digging your claws into my back. Oh, whoops, sorry, mighty one. It's nervous tension, you see. Anyway, this huge blue monster... How big? Oh, huge. How big? Huge! <laughs> <laughs> You're a very stupid creature, Karawong. Of all the far-fetched stories you've told, this is the most ridiculous I've ever... <sighs> what? It's dared to violate the mighty Brulga's territory? <laughs> See what I tell you. <laughs> Go get them, flying phantom. Look at them go! Hey. Brave Herculean horse fullness, you can do it! <laughs> That's it, El Supremo, you've done it! Hooray! Time me jeep went up in flames. Now we get attacked by a crazy horse. Never should have brung the ute. Well, what'll we do now? Prefer pack horse, would you? And several weeks' journey through this hellhole country. Well, it might have been easier. This ute wasn't built for cross country. Yeah, well, we're here now, and we're still gonna find the cascades. Let's just take it slowly and look for a track down. Hey, look what's coming. <laughs> Oh, it's just a dopey old wombat. Nothing to get excited about. Out of the way. Out of the way, whatever you are. <laughs> typical, typical. I bet you had something to do with our burrow being swamped. Now go on, clear off. <laughs> out of the way. Out of the way. Looks as though that dopey lump of blubber ain't gonna move. Yeah, well, <laughs> just start her up and edge forward, then we'll see it move. Good idea. <laughs> How do you like that? Where's that flaming gun of mine? <laughs> Got away. My, how very surprising. Oh, yeah, well, at least I got rid of it. More than you managed to do. No point in bickering, mate. Yeah? Well, what now, genius? Ah, oh, it's not a bad spot for a camp right here. There's a stream over there, ideal place to pitch the tent. We can set some traps, change the wheel, 
and move the ute next to the string. Blue like the sky. And then it nearly knocked us over, quite out of control. Totally out of control. Quite a mystery. And it tried to run us over. Oh, no consideration at all. Not even a warning. Whoosh, bang, jump by. Blue and big and fast. Oh, fast, very fast. Got me beat. Any ideas, Benny? Hmm, was it carrying any humans? Humans? Did you see any humans, Mew? Oh, humans? Um, uh, uh, oh, yes, see, I do believe I did. Aha, uh -huh, now we're getting somewhere. And were these humans inside the blue thing? Uh, yes, I think so. Oh, uh, yes, see, I believe they were. That's right. And there were round black things underneath. Round things underneath. Hmm. Yep, without a shadow of a doubt. Yep, the only shadow was underneath. Blue with round black things underneath. You got it. That's right. Hmm. Sounds as though we'd better check it out. Those men are the trappers who caught Mopoke and Currawong. Mopoke and Currawong escaped, but other animals might not be so lucky. If only there was some way we could make these trappers leave the high country forever. Mopoke! Mopoke! Oh, hi, Mopoke. We're just trying to figure out what to do about these intruders before they catch more animals. Or we'll start another bushfire. There are only two trappers and many of us. Perhaps for them we could make a fuss. Oh, I see what you mean. And you're right, as usual, Mopoke. Looks like we've got to organise the high country creatures so that they can defend themselves. It's always best to avoid a fight, but if the cause is just, it might be all right. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea. <laughs> You and your cups of tea. The last time you said that, you left the fire unattended and nearly cooked us alive. <laughs> and you burnt out half the high country. And that jeep of yours burnt to a crisp. What do you mean I left the fire unattended? Just because it was my idea to have a cuppa doesn't make it my fault that you left the fire unattended. Hey, hang on a minute. If I remember correctly, it was you who lit the fire. No, I collected the kindling. Then you lit it while I filled the billy at the river, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, you filled the billy all right while I collected the kindling. Then you lit the fire while I washed out the mugs by the stream. Nah. I saw you washing the muds while I got the tea from the back of the jeep. Then you came back and lit the fire while I got the sugar from the tent. No doubt about it. Hey, before you reckon that I lit it while you fill the billy. Now you're saying I lit it while you got the sugar. Make up your mind, mate. That's because you took so long. I had time to get the sugar and fill the billy. You don't exactly move with the speed of lightning, mate. Oh, what rubbish. It was me who got the sugar while you lit the tea. No, nah, it was the sugar I lit, mate, while you emptied the river into the tea. Hey, you get the feeling we've been watched? Nah, everything looks fine to me. Anyway, I reckon it's time we turn in. And this time, we'll make sure that my new ute doesn't get burnt to a crisp. Nah. something outside. Now go to sleep. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. That was the signal from Mopoke. I think he's enjoying the chance to get his own back on his captors. Everybody's moving into position. They all know what to do? I instructed them myself. Then everything will be perfect. I'll let Wombat know. Ah, let's see now. Are those trappers still hanging around making a pest of themselves? Hey, what's this? Not only have those intruders not left the mighty Brolga's territory, but they've dared to set up camp as well. This warrants further investigation. Hey, what's this? The 
pesky Thaura. Also invading the Bralga's territory is nothing sacred! <laughs> and what's this? Wombats! one doing the watching, yet I feel as though I'm being watched. Ah! What was that? File my mouth. Oh, forgive me, oh sumptuous and salivorous one. Do that again, I'll feed your feathers to the fish. But 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 mighty Brolga invaders into your territory. I've already given that 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 blue contraption a thorough hiding. That'll do. But sire, trappers, wombats, emus, dingoes, snakes, and and Thaura. Are you saying that weak need, soft brain, pathetic excuse for a brumby? that avoids fighting me at all costs would dare invade my territory. But I saw him with my own two eyes. Oh, along with trappers, wombats, emus, dingoes, and snakes. Cross my heart, sire, and hope to die. Uh, I don't know whether to believe you, Karawang. Well, you didn't believe me about the blue thing, mighty monster masher. Uh, very well, then. Lead the way. But if you're lying... No fear, sire. Karawong's word is his bond. <laughs> the hour has come, Thara. All set? All set, Benny. My <laughs> country creatures, one and all, wreak your havoc, have a ball! Boop, 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 boop. What's that? Well, it uh, so sounds like a flock of white and banshees. <laughs> All right, wombats, move in for mischief. Is it your foot moving around under the blanket? Right? What would be foot be doing near me head? Well, I'll tell you, there's something there. Oh, it's probably that gun of yours. Where are those gang gangs? They should be here by now. That's no gun, it's moving, I'll tell you. Here they are, Benny. Right on time, as you arranged. <laughs> Hey, I, I just felt it. It's slippery. <laughs> it's a flaming snake! Ah, hey, oh, hey, oh, help! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey, what? Look! The Ute! This way, magnificent maestro. They're just up here. You had the courage to jump, but the blue beast didn't. <laughs> oh no, me ute, me beautiful ute. Oh, don't complain. At least it didn't go over. <laughs> Get the radiator repaired and she'll be as good as new. 
Thanks, everyone. I think that's the last we'll see of those two. Hooray! <laughs> All they came for was to trap and shoot. Now back to the city they must scoot. <laughs> Quite right, Mopo. Well done, everyone. Jolly good. And time to go back to our homes and a bit of peace and quiet. Hooray! Stow the crowd. Look who's coming. What happened, boys? Where's that fancy ute of yours in your gear? Oh, don't ask. Where's the nearest mechanic? We want to get out of here. But you've hardly had time to take in the beauty of the high country. A lot to see and do, you know. Some other time, maybe. No other time. Just point us in the right direction and we're out of here forever. Oh, well, if you must, I suppose you must. Sorry the bird watching didn't work out. Now, best way would be over the shallows of the creek and then stick to the line of trees. That'll take you down to the gravel road. Probably hit you right there. There's a mechanic in the next town. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I wonder what happened to them. <laughs> Who knows? Couldn't care less. They've gone. And for good. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. So the creatures of the high country once again managed to rid themselves of the trappers. But unfortunately, the trappers still had yet another bad mark to make on the lives of our friends.